So we're going to review how to get into your map session and make a testing session. So the fastest way to get there is to go to map and the word login. And if you type those into your Google search, the very first one is going to be teach.map.org. And that's what you want. This blue screen comes up. You'll type in your um, username, which is your email. And then if you can't remember your password, just click on forgot username or password. Uh, it's, it happens all the time. Follow through the steps, put your email in, it'll send you a link. You click on that, you make your new password, and then you go in. So we're just going to log in here. Once you get into map, you're going to go to manage test sessions. And I like it best to go to find students to test. That way, if you're doing multiple groups, uh, if you have multi-grade groupings, you can put them all together. You won't have this option, but I do. So you uh, want to choose Senator Gershaw School or it'll already be there for you. And let's say you're going to do your grade five class. So I can hit search and there are 10 students on each page. So 10 students, if I go to the next page, I can see there's four. So there would be 14 students in this grade if that's correct. Um, I can hit add students. If there are students here, let's say you only have 12 students, two have moved away. It doesn't matter. You can certainly unclick them, uh, but it doesn't matter if they're in there um, or not. You can absolutely get rid of them. So now we have all of your students here. So top uh, left hand of this part, you want to click in that little uh, top box to get all of the students selected. And then this is something that people often forget and it makes it much more difficult for the kids. You want to go to assign test. This is grade six. I think I picked, so I want growth reading six plus BC or growth reading two to five. Those would be the ones that we want. You want to make sure you do not have screening chosen. So growth reading six plus, assign it to everybody. So now you'll notice over here, everyone has a test assigned. Now I'm going to go to save session because let's say I'm setting this up in the morning. So I'll type in something that's easy to type, preferably all in lowercase, save and exit. So now it's ready to go. So later on in the day, or let's say you make all your um, test sessions in the morning, but your students are going to write throughout the day. This is the part sometimes where people get mixed up. When we come back, we've made all our test sessions. You're going to come to save test sessions. And down here, you're going to click the session that you want. Uh, in this case, CAN6. Then I'm going to hit test now. And this will be my session that I created earlier. Here's all my students. And this session name will be the one that I want them to always be in. If they have to finish the next day or after lunch or we come back, you want to make sure they're in the CAN 6 or whatever your session name is. That's where your students will be having their progress saved. The password will change every, every time that they go in. So at this point, your students are uh, waiting. So they're going to uh, go to their Chromebooks. They're going to log out of their normal profile and then they will go to the little icon in the bottom left. They will remember what to do there. Uh, once they've logged in, remember you have to press confirm and sometimes several times to get them going. Call Cami if you have questions.